Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and in Spain. It is getting hot and uh, therefore I put my hand to cut the wool of the border collies. You can see the difference between the two of them. It is a very difficult task. But uh, they are becoming Tarzan animals, just tree to tree. So I thought, let me help him get rid of his winter coat. And uh, then he might be panting less as well. He looks quite shabby, but... Uh, so far, so good for the first time. Okay, it's spring has passed. Summer is here. Seeds are ripening. Lots of them. I'm wearing a mask because of all these allergies. And uh, it is quite severe in the sense that you put on something and then if you take it off in the evening and you shake it out, a cloud of yellow dust leaves it. It's amazing how long the seeds stay in the ground. The seed bank because we are slowly getting plants here that we have never seen before. I hope we can send a lot of seed to the neighbors, to their lands. Obviously, a lot of things are now developing that were eaten by animals in the past. So far, we haven't had animals. It is not excluded, but not on the horizon as yet. Okay, I have used some water from this inflatable water tank. I have refilled it as well. It's amazing how different parts of the land show different responses to the uh, lack of rain or availability of humidity in the soil. It also depends on the shade and the orientation. But uh, the uh, worst enemy is the hot dry wind. We had wind the last two days and things already look very different, very dry and yellowish. I'm walking from the highest part of the land to the lowest part in the west. And as soon as we take the slope from the flat area of the land it's already different as if humidity still moves down with gravity nutrients humidity water they all move down with the land that's why in permaculture they say that you start planting your forest on top the nutrients gathered there will 
seep into the land and go down with the slope. A lot of shade here and things are still green. Oh, Max also had a haircut. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. This is very difficult to cut because of the curliness. And with the border collies you need to be like a barber for human hair. Take it between your fingers and then cut it with scissors. Not that I have ever done that. Only now. Again, it's quite downhill already. Therefore, more humidity. It's also shade and still green. Actually, very green. This is on the northwestern part of the land. We are north facing, so we don't get this full blast of the hot sun. But this slope towards the north put us right in line for the hot wind. And uh, we have to deal with it. I have many plans and working on a few things. The land doesn't only tilt towards the north, downwards, but also towards the west. Therefore, the northwestern corner is the lowest corner and the water drains towards this corner therefore a lot of green this is where I have planted some sorghum, Sudan grass. Um, I don't know what will happen to it. I haven't had success, much success in the past because the grasses just smother them. That's why I've waited so late. Hopefully the grasses now will Die off. Today I also started putting bush beans and corn, maize into these swales, the berms, and the first seven of them, and then afterwards I started with watermelon we are quite late with that in comparison with previous years but perhaps not too late because we had rain up to not too long ago and also it was still not hot I have high hopes to have lots of melons, watermelons, pumpkins, beans. This is the retama bush, Spanish broom, going into full bloom. These are the Hara brushes, bushes that we have removed 
in winter when the soil was soft and the idea is still to stack them higher along the fence because the hot wind comes from the right here here I have experimented with cutting the grass 25 centimeters it's a difficult task because look at the height of this um, anthena the home oak it happens regularly that uh, I encounter one of them and if I keep it too high actually there's no reason to cut it also this is low density plant growth species variety per square meter even plant variety per square meter not even the same plant many of them per square meter I will abandon that right now I have other things to do than cutting so high pomegranate looking good the Paulovnia I'm happy to report that all the ducklings are still alive and well I have placed some netting on top here the chicks are also alive and well all of them as long as they don't escape here they are safe the dogs don't do anything to them as long as they are not behaving like mad individuals today the creek stopped flowing visibly above land although water still passed through the sand and that is the absolutely most spectacular thing we experienced so far on the farm that we have had this flowing water <laughs> the lowest pond on the land at the bottom of the creek is also dropping in level i can even start walking next to it in the past i had to take the high road Still a wonderful sight. Till next time. Goodbye.